Hello, it's Georgie and welcome to Georgie at Home. I know it's been a while since um, I did a video, it's been a couple of weeks, so I thought it was about time I gave you a bit of an update on what I've been working on um, and also I just wanted to say a quick hello to all of my new um, subscribers on this channel, it's really really exciting, there's been loads and loads of you, um, so that's really really good, so this is this is for you, all of the new and all of all of my subscribers. Um, so yeah, I've only I've only got a little while to make this video, so I want to whiz. I don't know what happened there. That was weird. See, if if you're new to this channel, the theme is everything goes wrong. Okay, so get ready for that. So um, I have made a few changes. I've still been moving in. I only started using it at the beginning of the month. Um, and it's been going really, really well. It's working fantastic. We're still, I'm still getting, I'm still getting into the year, really, to be honest. So, um, yeah, I've definitely, definitely moved in. This is <laughs> that's an old shopping list. There's just, it's, it's working. So this is my real life. So I've added in um, my stickers and things that I'm using at the moment. They keep falling off. Um, and this is just a little cleaning cloth. It's so cute. Look it's a charity guide dogs for the blind um like a lens cleaning cloth which is good because i do wear glasses uh, but i also use it on my um tablet screen and my phone screen that's quite cool um so yeah i've just filled my pockets up with the things that i'm using and this is kind of my dashboard where i just stick stuff i know i want to see and little reminders okay so the diary pages now i think i had said that i designed my own because i couldn't find any think that was really working for me um and it's been working really well i finally got round to printing the ones on the filofaxi site um, and i've just done those which i'll show you in a second so that's coming on brilliantly and i also just want to show you can you see this gold washi tape i don't know if she's watching but um handmade by charlotte victoria hello if you're watching um had this on her Instagram and it is just gorgeous. I think I blogged about it actually um last week. Um so that is so much fun. Really love that, it's really pretty. So that was last week. It's, it's a bit glitzy. Um and this is this week. And this is the same to-do list as in the last video because I was saying that my to-do list gets so long I couldn't possibly fit it on the Filofax pages. And it was probably, I don't know how far it was before, but basically I've moved over to the other side of the page. But like all good to-do lists, stuff gets crossed off and stuff gets added. So um, I've been doing a lot of crossing off and it's really nice to see, like when stuff gets crossed off, it's so satisfying. Any list maker will agree, I'm sure. Um, what else did I want to say about this? I don't know. Oh, that was it. Inserts. So basically, I've now I've started a February to-do list already. Stuff I know that needs to get done next month. So, um, here we go. These are the Filofaxi inserts. I don't know if you can... You probably can go by these dates on here. Are these the Filofaxi ones or these ones I did? Oh my God, I can't even remember. I think these might be ones I did. No, I think I've done these because, and I'll tell you why, because I couldn't get the Filofaxi ones to print. I'm sure that's correct. I'm sure I'm right. I'm sure I did these ones. Be I did them like the Filofaxi ones because, and I got this wrong in my last one, or well, something's not wrong, but you can have four sections on each side, so Monday through Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and notes at the bottom. I've done notes at the top. Um because that worked out really nicely I thought because then I know like I can say I want to do this this week and that's at the beginning um so that I'm really looking forward to that and I'm a bit I was like oh should I just print it from where I wanted to start but I thought no just finish off that week and then next week starts in a new format and I know generally if I decorate carry on decorating the same way I am going to end up with less space in the long run but I've still got more space than I have in a personal um I might change change up the way I decorate a bit actually which probably means doing less because <laughs> I haven't got time um, and, but the thing is I've only printed up to um, the end of March because I've got a bit of a problem with bulk 
and it's a real problem people I'm in a real situation I've got quite a lot of bulk and I don't know what to do I know Moldens do carry quite a lot but it's worrying me a little bit it is worrying me um, so the same old thing and I, and I know I said before about this calendar I have started using it I've put in I've marked in all of the um, half term and the summer holidays and things like that um, and it's quite nice to see those things at a glance particularly like when things fall on weekends because normally that's generally the time when you probably do the most stuff with when you need to align your your availability with other people um, so that was really good it's it's not what I intended it for but it's still it's working for me I, I'm making it work it's becoming quite handy um, what I've also done I don't know if you can, I'm going to be able to show you this. I have stuck, let me find it. I have stuck a little plastic tab on. Now, on the file effects device, you get, there you go, you can see, they have a little plastic reinforced. Now, that is what I've done here. I have just, it's double sided, it happens on both sides. Stuck a little bit of plastic, just, um, you know, sticky back plastic like you cover books and things with. And that's what I've done on there. And I've done that on every single one. All of them are now a little bit more hard wearing and a bit reinforced. And my side um, tabs as well are all done exactly the same way. It was a bit fiddly, but I um, I figured it out. We got there. That was really good. That's my my best addition probably so far. Um, in my I had quite a lot of things I wanted to do. Like I've developed a bit of a list, a to-do list, an ever whirling to-do list. I don't even know where I've put it. Here it is. Look, it's got a tab on it. This is the list of all the things I wanted to do in my fun fact. So like as I come across something, I was like, oh, I'd quite like to do that, and I put it on. Because um, I said before, when I've transferred stuff in, like some certain things weren't working, and some things need a little bit of tweaking. So I didn't want to put it in here until it's you know the idea I want is done I didn't want to kind of half start stuff which in some bits I kind of have and there's some areas which I really don't want to do that um so like the meal planning is kind of a half started one and which I'll just skip to quickly um I can't remember and this is terrible someone I've been watching on um, YouTube does this and it's similar to something we used to do um but she also had a list of meals we love because every month we sit down and we have this discussion. Oh, like, and I always forget the kinds of stuff that we eat and then some of the stuff that are real favourites get forgotten. Um, so I started a meals we love list and kind of a bit haphazard really because we it got to the time when we needed to do the shopping. We had to work out um, what we were going to eat. Um, and I've also added my recipes to try. We were watching... Um, the Sport Relief Bake Off, if that's a UK thing, um, and it reminded me that I'd quite like to try making egg risk cakes because they're really easy and quite yummy. Um, so yeah, so I printed off some more of the Mrs Brimble's um, inserts, uh, but I printed off the ones that don't have the recipe but and the page number section. Not that I needed the space, but I think that look I didn't need it, and that looks really neat. Apart from my handwriting, because that's my busy quick school it down, so we know we're doing handwriting. Um, and I put some green because that matches the section. Um, so yeah, basically, uh, I can't remember her name. This is really terrible. Um, but she also had it. So her favourite meal. She then put them on like flags, and then she would take them off and stick them on the days that they were having those meals. And of course, you can chop and change it about, which we can as you remember from our last video that's exactly what we do but it was quite nice and that's similar to the system we used to have like I used to have a big A4 piece of paper with all the little things blue tack on and then I would move them about for the days that we were having the meal so anyway I, well, that's what I want to do and I want to set that up in here but I haven't got around to doing that yet um, in my wish list section that's some ideas for um, Valentine's presents um, what I've done, excuse me, I feel like I'm getting a cold. I um, I've separated out with my wish list into kind of separate lists. So I've got my general wish list of all kinds of stuff. Since I think, oh, I'd quite like that. I'd pop it on there. And then one for my son. Um, one for IKEA. It's kind of an IKEA shopping list that 
I don't normally go to I I go to IKEA when I've got like enough it makes the journey worthwhile because it's not particularly close it's not too far but I've got enough stuff it makes it worthwhile trip um, and my final facts wish list which I've added some new things on there and stuff I've found um, now my checklists I mentioned this before obviously um, I'm <laughs> I'm, a list, I'm a list person so I wanted a list of things that I needed to check monthly I know a lot of people have that and I've been trying to work out what things I do monthly to have on it I'm going through that so a monthly and a weekly one and also the things I do daily um, checks include like I I look for a lot of things on eBay and Gumtree and and the places I sell so I'm also looking and I like to check for certain things I'm looking for on a daily basis I've also added in my books to read. Now, I think I only read one book last year, um, which is good and bad because it's good that I did lots of other things, and uh, but it's not so good in that I've got this stack of books in the cupboard just behind me, and because they're in a cupboard, I'm not, I'm not, they're not at the top of my brain to do list. So I thought, you know, if they're in there. I know they're more likely to get seen in here than they are in the cupboard. Um, and there was I mentioned about the going away stuff because I mean we go away quite a bit um, to see family and stuff, um, or just you know when we go out for the day. And when you've got kids, anyone that's got kids knows you have to take quite a lot of stuff. And I there's always one thing I forget, just one thing. Um, but oh, sorry, I've nudged the camera. I um wanted to do it so that it was like my fly lady thing where I could use a white board marker and cross it off but I didn't want to laminate all of the lists because I didn't want to add too much bulk um, but then I thought about having a, just a one sheet fly leaf that I could flick between and I thought if I've got two checklists going that's not going to work so I'm still again that's one of the things I'm trying to figure out um, at the moment it's just lists floating about um, so yeah, my flying. I can show you it in action now. We've gone through a few um, a few weeks on it. So this is how it's working. I think I, me I mentioned before that basically I cross the stuff off of it as that stuff happens. And anything that's left, I've got my look, I've got my pen here. Anything that's left, um, excuse me, it gets opened. And when it comes around again, I can see that next week, which is zone one, I need to do those things that haven't been crossed off. I need to do it all, but particularly those things haven't been crossed off. Um, so that's how that works. And the notes I've written, so this one here with the writing next to it, was the straight in the drawers and the cupboards for the kitchen. Um, now I only did one cupboard. I've got quite a lot of cupboards in my kitchen. I'm quite lucky. Um, and I chose the cereal cupboard because that's the cupboard that kind of gets filled with the most stuff. It just stuff gets bunged in there. So that's the cupboard I saw set. So I've written it on there so I know that next time I probably would need doing again. It's not my priority. And then as I sort of go around and make a note of things we need or whatever because it's this dry white pen I can just rub it off. Like I can rub that off. That's his light bulbs because we just got shopping and I just bought light bulbs. Now this white pen is brilliant. It's really small. Really, really tiny. Um, and it's got a rubber in the lid when it comes out you can turn it around if you want to like it completely comes out um, and it's also got a magnet on it and it's, it actually sticks oops it does stick to my lamp I don't really need to magnet it, magnet it anywhere stick it anywhere because I only I bought it to use in here um yeah so like, look I can also no I can't because I didn't get that anyway that's how that works. So we have just come around to just done zone four, which is the bedroom. We've just got a new bed this past weekend. So quite a lot of all of the things that don't normally get done, like vacuuming under the entire bed, that got done. Um, and then it's now Tuesday. Um, so we are in the living room in the last week of the month. And um, I've already done quite a few things on there. And I find the living room quite an easy room. Um, I mean it's the room that gets the it's the room isn't it that gets lived in most um, but I find it quite easy to, to, to get by in there and then I've got a ma I'm trying to organise my master list so 
this is my master list of our bathroom supplies the stuff that I need, my husband needs, my son needs, and then just stuff the bathroom needs, you know, like cloths and toilet roll and stuff like that. Toilet bleach. So, yeah, that's some things I've added. My projects. This is this relates to my home projects. I've printed out some to-do lists on blue because this section is blue. These are the Mrs. Brimble's inserts. Hopefully, there's enough tick boxes for me to get all of my things done. Um, and what I wanted to do here was because I've got my categories and I've got my subcategories now. In my house, I wanted to break it down by room. But I don't want to make it, I want to keep it simple like that, but I didn't want to make it more complicated in here. Um, I quite like having my whole life in here. Um, but I, mean, I don't know what to do. I didn't know whether maybe section out with just a paper clip or I, I don't know. I know I've already kind of added these Martha Stewart tab ones to certain things. I've got that Philo to do list and that's for my blog, but. Um, I didn't know what to do here. So at the moment it's just a whole bunch of to-do lists with nothing on them because each room in this house needs something doing in it. And this is also those printouts I made that I showed you before. I can actually get rid of some of these. I've sold some stuff. Woohoo! Um, yeah, I can get rid of some of those now. So yeah, I don't know what to do. Quite a lot needs doing in the house. I don't know how to organise it in here. We will get round to it. This is um, a principle that I printed out. Mrs. Primrose again. I'm a big fan. I don't know if you know that. Um, she mentioned, and I've heard this story before. It's the main owner trying two cups of coffee. I'm not going to read it because she reads it out in her um, video. I go over to her channel, um, and I've heard it loads of times before. But I thought it was really handy. She actually made it really handy for me to print out, so I had no excuse. It'd be nice just to come to that when life gets too much, and I. And uh, I just need that little reminder sometimes. So in my health section, oh, these keep coming off. I need to sort that out. In my health section, um, I've got quite a few things I wanted to add. Um, but like chain again, this is like moving into this one. I didn't want to put it in here until it's perfect. There is, I don't believe in the word perfect, but I didn't want to put it in here until I felt it was right. Um, for me, because obviously there is no right or wrong way, but I want to stick to work for me. So there's a few things I wanted to add, and there's some print, like some little inserts I want to make, um, to go in here. I wanted to make um, something to track my monthly cycle, um, and some just some meditation info and some basic, like some of my basic yoga stuff I wanted to print to put in here. Um, my goals. I have not transferred my goals book because I've been so busy ticking stuff off of my goals. I'm so proud. I actually went through and I just listed on here. I've got this. I listed how many goals I had. 21. And I've done, well when I last checked, I've done 5 for sure. I've done 5 out of the 21, which I was so, so, so pleased with. Um, yeah, really, really happy with that. So I've spent so much time doing, doing, I've actually had much time to transfer in here. Um, some of this stuff, like, it, I've, some of my goals pertain to my house quite a lot, so these are all things that kind of need to go in the home project section um, for, for planning those out. And my blog is my blog, just things I want, the topics I want to try and stick to. Um, some ideas and then an expenses this is Miss Brimbles again Mrs Brimbles um, just to track if I spend any money on my blog um, just to make a note of how much money I spent and then my calendar which is kind of shared like my blog and my YouTube share a calendar because it was going to be ridiculous for me to have a whole year um, like two watches of that in here it was going to be silly and I thought they can just share so blue for blog, blue blog, even though my blog thing is yellow, blue blog made sense. And red YouTube, that does match. Um, so that's that. These um, months at a glance, months on two pages are Philofaxi. Uh, I do I do like those. It was enough space for me. 
I do quite like them. We're not having, this was on a side note, we're not having like a family wall calendar this year. We normally have one up in our kitchen and it's normally kind of the thing. I go in the January sales and I buy a wall calendar, but I haven't this year. So far so good, except for, you know, you know, this is the first thing at January, don't you? You get your whole calendar out, those that have cal wall calendars, and you copy like the dates that happen. Oh, like birthdays and things. Well, I haven't done that. So the stuff that would probably need to go in here off of that calendar, I haven't done. Such is life. Um, and then YouTube. Again, lots of YouTube things. I'm planning a little bit of a series. Um, and again, I've added in um, an expenses um, thing. So I've spent a little bit of money um, for something that is coming up. What is this place? exciting um so yeah that again that's mr brimble's project life again i've been so busy although this is on my goals i've been so busy doing some other goals i haven't got around to this one although i have found some um, journaling cards that i like and i'm going to buy those and i've set some money aside to have some photos printed so that's really good i've budgeted for that go me um so I'm looking forward to getting this. That's that's on this week's to-do list. I am. Oopsie, not the camera again. I am gonna get some. Oops, sorry. Print photos ordered. Photo. I'm ordering photos. <gasps> okay. So what have I just gone into? Expenses. So I had to print another one off because it got to the end of that page. Go me. Look, I'm celebrating so much about myself. So I'm really pleased with what I've achieved so far. I've been writing it down and I'm more accurate than the bank I think so far because they seem to reckon that I've got 1p more than I have but I haven't. So I've been really 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 pleased with myself um, with that. I was trying to keep it to one page but because there's a few days of the month left I have just gone over onto a new page. If there's one thing I haven't written down. I've also added um, a debt tracker. Um, just because as I make um, payments, obviously it comes down a little bit, a little bit. But I wanted to just see how the amounts are coming down month by month. So I've got January to December and then the debt down the side. I've only got a couple. But um, yeah, it'd be nice. It's just nice, isn't it, to see that you're actually making a dent. Um, so I've done that for myself, which is quite good. And people, now I did a swap with somebody for some... A to Z um, tabs and I've got a real problem um, because I don't want to add too much bulk like I said I'm still umming and ahhing like I said pardon me I don't want to do it until it feels right um, so that one's still a bit up in the air and I still haven't got a back page um, but yeah there's been quite a few changes it's working I've been living in it moving in moving around um, and it's working really really well I've got some plans coming up in the next week or so so um, stay tuned for that that's what I'm kind of that's what's coming next so um, hopefully I've covered everything I don't think anyone I think I had some requests but I don't think anyone asked to see anything specifically um, so yeah we're good so if you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more hit the subscribe button and please send me your love in the comments and thank you for watching bye